This is a sound machine that I got for Christmas that was uh, kindly bought for me. It's a kind of kids toy sampler and it's got various cheesy uh, cartoon style sound effects. And People get me these things because they know that I like to uh, mess around with them and find out what's inside and, uh, and uh, bend them, do circuit bending on them. And I've just made two uh, modifications to this. The first thing that I did was I removed the speaker and put a jack output on it. And the second thing that I did was I put a couple of touch contacts to a bend point on the circuit inside. So I'm going to plug it in and I'm just going to record this um, on the computer so you can uh, hear a direct recording of it. And if I just touch across these contacts and press this one here, so this, there's a little kind of magnum handgun on here, and you get gunshots. Uh, there's a uh, bow and arrow, and a spring, and the explosion, which is quite nice. And what you could do by changing uh, how much um, connection you've got here, or rather changing the resistance across these two points, is you can change the speed of the playback. So if we go back to that gunshot, if I, if I lick my finger, and it's very high pitch, and then if my finger's a bit dry, it's a lower pitch, and then if I touch them a bit less, Or even less. I'll try that again. And also if you don't touch them at all or if you touch one or the other. various bits of kind of feedback and glitches and uh, yeah it just makes it a uh, heck of a lot more interesting than the cartoony noises and you can do some great things with it and uh, let's have a look what else have we got on here we'll try this one <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look inside and we'll see what I've done to modify it a bit closer. Just stop the recording there. Um, if I can get into this thing. Okay, we're inside now. And you've just got a rubber membrane there, some little carbon pads on, and that's for the, the buttons on the bottom of the circuit board. And at the, the top there, there's a black blob. That's uh, a cob or chip on board, and that's the integrated circuit that uh, stores all the samples and performs the playback and well, pretty much everything. It's all inside that chip there, and uh, there's the jack that I've added, and that just connects to the speaker terminals here, and there's a big blob of hot glue there. Underneath that, there's a few discrete components. That's the only other components on the board besides the cob. And there's a couple of resistors and a couple of capacitors, just little surface mount components. And the way that I um, found this bend point was to just lick my finger and kind of press around the circuit until I uh, found uh, something that uh, changed the sound in a, in, a, in a pleasing way. And it's quite safe to do this on small battery powered devices like this, anything that's uh, not got large batteries in uh, and doesn't have large capacitors in, you've got to be aware of, better be wary of things like um, like cameras with uh, large capacitors in them for, for the camera flash. Um, but, but something like this, it's just powered by small coin cell batteries, this uh, is it's pretty uh, 
it's pretty safe to just prod around with your fingers. You're not going to get an electric shock and it's not going to hurt you. So once I found that bend point, um, well, what I could have done is I could have just connected these contacts either side of the resistor and, and then I've just got my drawing pins on the outside and as I touch this, it's the same as touching over the resistor and it, and it changes the uh, pitch of the playback in this particular instance with this bend. But what I actually decided to do was remove the resistor altogether and, uh, and just have the contacts and that was quite interesting because when you're not touching the contacts it doesn't have any resistance over there and it, it, it almost stalls the, the playback altogether or gives you very um, uh, kind of slow lumpy playback of the samples stored in the memory and it, it creates quite nice artifacts and the way that this works is the more you contact with this metal here with your finger and the sweatier your finger is and the harder you press the the, the lower the resistance is between these two points and in this case that uh, that means that the playback is faster and you uh, you get a higher pitch